Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported this image file, which I will be using in this tutorial, you can also download this image file, download link is provided in the description. Now let's create our Instagram post. Create a new composition. I will name it as, Insta post. Here you need to set, width and height to 1080 pixels frame rate to 30 frames per second, time duration to 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the media file to timeline. You need to scale your media file if needed, here I will scale my media file. Let's pre-compose this media layer. Name it as media. Select move all attribute into new composition. Now we will animate our media composition. For this media composition, press P to bring up the position. At one second, create keyframe for position. At start, change position value for X axis as shown. Place it outside the preview area. Perfect. Move 20 frames forward. Create keyframe for position. Now at 2 seconds and 20 frames, change position of media file as shown. Perfect. Now select all the created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now make sure you are on the speed graph. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. For this media composition, in effects and preset, search for the CC reptile effect, add it to the media composition. For reptile, set expand right to 300. Change tiling to unfold. Perfect. Now let's create a new shape layer. This is a blank shape layer like null layer. For this shape layer, we will add rectangle. For this rectangle, unlink the size, set size to 540 by 1080 pixels. Adjust the position, set position value to 270. Perfect. For this shape layer, now in effects and preset, Search for Gradient Tramp. Add it to the shape layer. You can see there is no effect of this ramp visible. To make it visible, we need to add the fill effect for this shape layer. Perfect. Now you can set any color of your choice for this layer. Perfect. Let's animate this shape layer, press P to bring up position. At one second, create keyframe for position, at start of the timeline, change position value as shown. Place it outside the preview area. Perfect. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's place this shape layer at 1 second and 20 frames. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now we will add our text. Here you can add your brand name.
Here I am using Montserrat font family. Reduce the font size. Here I will place this layer at center. You can also align the text to the center. Let's change font style to semi bold. Now we will animate our created text layer. From animate, select position. For Y position, we will set position value to, minus 140. In range select a 1. At start. Create keyframe for offset. Set offset to, minus 100%, at 20 frames, change offset value to, 100%. In advanced, change shape to, ramp up. Let's on the randomize order. Now add property opacity. Set opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Now we will place this text layer at 20 frames. For this text layer, we will create position keyframe, press P to bring up the position. Now at 1 second and 20 frames. Create keyframe for position. Now at 2 seconds and 20 frames, change position value as shown. Make sure text is placed at center of the media file. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now we will create duplicate of this text layer. We will use this text layer to add our website URL. Remove the position keyframes. Place it above the shape layer area. Decrease the font size for the text layer. Here you can add your store URL or website URL. Perfect. Now for this text layer, I will change the position value. Here I will set position to 200. I will place this layer at 1 second and 25 frames. Perfect. Now let's create lines, select pen tool. Make sure fill option is set to, none. Stoke option is set to, solid color. Now create line as shown. For this line, here you can adjust the stroke value. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this line. For shape layer 2, press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Place it on the other side. Perfect. Now we will animate both the lines. For shape 2 and 3, press P to bring up the position. Now at 20 frames, create keyframe for position. Now at start, change the position values for layer 2 as shown. Do the same for shape 3. Perfect. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown.
Now we will place this shape layer at 2 seconds. You can see the preview. Perfect. Let's add another text. Here I will add 30%. For this text layer, increase font size. Here I will change font style to bold. We will place this text layer at 2 seconds and 10 frames. Now let's animate this text layer. In animate, select tracking. Here we will set tracking amount to minus 50. In range select a 1. At start of the layer, create keyframe for offset. Change offset to minus 100. Now at 3 seconds. Change offset to 100%. In advanced, change shape to ramp up on the randomize order. Now let's add property opacity. Set opacity to 0%. Perfect. Now let's add another text. Here I will slightly increase the font size for this text layer. Let's animate the text layer. For the text layer, in animate, select position. Set position value for Y axis to 140. At start, in range select a 1. Create keyframe for offset, change offset to minus 100. At 20 frames, change offset to 100 in advanced change based on to words perfect we will place this text layer at 2 seconds and 10 frames for this text layer Change shape to ramp up. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this text layer. Adjust the duplicate layer position. Let's change the text. Now for this text layer, we need to change the position value. Here we will change position to minus 140. Now create mask for both the text layers as shown. Do the same for other text layer. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now we will create duplicate of this 30% text layer. Place it above. Adjust the position. Let's change the text. I will name it as Friday Sale. Reduce the font size. Place this layer at difference of 10 frames from above text layers. For this text layer. For animator 1, let's add property, scale. Set it to 0%. Perfect. Our all layers are ready. Let's enable the motion blur for all the layers. 
perfect. Now for each text layer, we need to add drop shadow, in effects and preset, search for drop shadow, add it to the text layer. Now add it to all other text layers. Here if you want, you can make change to the shadow, I will keep it as it is. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our social media post is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.